Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? So I figured we would do some more collage work um, because I need some ephemera to go with this. Um, and I need some like pockets and tags and such. So um, my first goal is to make pockets. Um, and so I figured I really wanted to use this page as the cover, but it's the title page. So my idea is to, instead of collage the book pages, collage the front of this so we can use the back of it, if that makes sense. Um, and we could use either side. And I just have some um, vintage style papers, ephemera pieces here. And we're going to use these, and then we're going to use the cards that we cut out as well to kind of incorporate the two. Um, so anyway, it is actually the morning time. Um, it's 9.30. Check that out. I'm actually recording in the morning. What? What is this madness? So anyway, um, how are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is well. I am just going to start laying these down. I'm not sure how I want to lay them down because I think the most important part is to cover this up here. So let's start on the edge. I do have enough to go from here to here and then the top and the bottom. And I actually have more. I just pulled these out. Um, right now, the only place that I have these available is in my autumn kit, my fall and autumn kit. I will have some more available in uh, my next kit. I've actually been working on it. Um, I actually did some of that this morning before I turned the camera on. this one. I like this one. I like all of them, but oh, I might need to grab another glue stick. I didn't think to check my glue stick before I turned the camera on. I mean, they're right behind me in the cabinet. It's just a manner of getting them, that's all. And see, the great thing about this is I have no idea where I'm going to be cutting just yet because I haven't measured the pages to know what my pockets will be. So this will end up very similar to the last one where it's just bits and pieces of this, that, and another kind of all over the place, which I really like. I like the unpredictability of where everything is going. I think it makes for the collage to be a little, uh, a little more collagey. Is that a word? <laughs> um, I do find that this is easier for me because I don't think about it quite as much. I just lay stuff down. You know? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Yep, that's, that's the end. Hopefully I can get this one. Because again, we're going to be sewing around these. Um, I, I will do that off camera this time. Because <laughs> um, it does actually take up a little bit of time. And um, I don't know how many people actually enjoy watching me sew. So, let me grab another glue stick. This one is kaput. And like I said, it's right behind me. Ow. That drawer is open. Oi. I turned around and I beat up my drawer with my leg. Not my left leg. It was my right leg. So no biggie. Oh, did I tell you guys that I did order some art glitter glue. Um, I'll have to check the order to find out exactly when it's going to be here. But I 
did order some. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to add a couple of these tickets um, throughout because we still have some stuff down here. And so, and we're still going to put these on top. And I'm just kind of going through and picking some lighter colored tickets. Because these are all, they're all different. These are also available in the autumn. Um, the autumn kit. Let's grab a couple here. Oh, that one's nice. I like that one. Ooh, pretty. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Um, let's do one more on this side. Okay. So basically we're just, we're keeping with the theme. We're just collaging. We're putting stuff down picking it up and putting it down. Oh no, I left my bottle sideways and that's what happens. You get a Uber, a very large Fabri-Tac Uber. Because I leave them sideways when I'm working on them, so I'm not fighting with them quite so much to, you know, get the glue to the bottom of where it needs to be. And again, no rhyme, no reason. We're just covering up the back of this paper, basically. why but I smell pecans and I mean I know we're in the south but I don't, we don't have any pecan trees near us and I did that on purpose because I don't necessarily want them all lined up I didn't think about that when I was laying those down Because again, it's just, you don't really think, you just put them down, you know, you know, you know. I think that one was supposed to be sideways. So let's put this one sideways. one right up to it. Like a full. So nothing real extravagant happened to me this morning. <laughs> Because I recorded last night and then I recorded again. Well, I just now recorded this morning. Like, as in, I'm talking to you recording. I like this one. Mm, do we want to do this one? Yeah, let's do it on the corner over here. You gotta remember it's upside down, so we gotta make her upside down. I'll do this one in this corner. Well, now. Okay. And that way I get to use this really pretty paper. And this is the paper pad that the cover came out of.
called Shabby Rose by Stamperia. All right, now let's start adding these bad boys all over the place. Let's see, I want to do, do that one, do that one's pretty, I'll do that one. I try not to use the postcards because there's postcards in here and we'll save those for something else. Oh, that one's cute. I like that one. Uh, bingo. I'm not sure if we'll use the bingo. It's definite. Alright, let's do these real quick and see what we got. I'm just trying to cover up this dark pink down here, which isn't really necessary. I guess you don't have to. But the rest of the journal is pretty pale, like the pale pink. This is not quite as easy as the stickers, the uh, vellum stickers or vinyl, not vinyl, but uh, acetate stickers or whatever what have you okay so there's that one and then I'll do this one here okay. Oop, I missed And this is, you know, just layering. Same thing we did before. Okay. And then I know I really want to use this one. Where do I want to use this one? I don't really want to cover her up. Maybe just a little. Oh, that one was way easier. Okay. All right, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, this one's pretty. Could use this one. I guess it doesn't really matter because we don't know where we're putting yet. That's the whole point. Because I can say it looks good right here and then we cut it and that's not where it ends up. Alright, so I'm just going to plop you down. That's pretty cool. I am digging that. All right, let's cover up my glue. And this is only a 12 by 12, so I don't think we're going to get the pockets that we need out of here, but it's a good start. Oh, wait, we have to measure. Um, where is my stick? I've lost my number stick. Oh no! Oh, 
Okay. My daughter likes to come in here and take stuff. Sitting. Um, let's see. I'll just use this one. It has inches on it. I think. Oh, I was like, why does it start with five? Because zero's in the middle. Wow. I never noticed that. All right. So, looking at five, and if we just do five, and I think, let's see, what is a quarter? That's two eighths, three eighths. So if we do five and three eighths, that'll be pretty perfect. But that means that we're gonna have extra. We're only gonna get two, we're only gonna get four pockets. Um, Cause five and five is 10, and this is only 12 inches long, wide, whatever. All right, so, well, we're not, oh yeah, we can do five and three eighths. I thought it was here, which there's no lines there. So, go here, oh, excuse me. And here. Ooh, that'll be a nice belly band. Okay. Actually, we might get more because I didn't think about the height of the pockets. All right, so this should be, well, maybe three inches should be good. Yeah, because three inches puts it right around here. I think four is maybe too big for this particular book. I'm going to stick with three. So we actually get more pockets than just four. Coolness. All right. Let me fold this back up a little bit. And I'm do three inches here. Boop. Pocket. That's pretty cool. We could make a different sizes. Let's do uh, three and a half on this one. That way there's a little bit of variation within the journal. And then what are you? You're too big, you're five and a half. Uh, we could do two and a half and then do tags. But this one is, we'll do a tag out of this one. Yeah, we'll do a tag out of this one and a pocket out of this one. Okay. And then, okay, let's see. It's three and a half. Three and a quarter. And you are five and a quarter. So, actually, let's see. We could just do this kind of straight down the middle and make two tags. Voila. Um, we'll cut this later. We'll leave it as 12 inches. We don't need it for 12 inches, but, um, we'll go ahead and leave it for now. All right, so let's make our pockets. A little more pocky. And so we could use this side or this side. Oh, you know what? Because this side's really pretty, let's make a couple cards. That 
one will be nice as a card. That one would probably have been nice as a card. Okay. So, now, keep in mind that we did get two, three tags, so we still get to look at that really pretty paper on the back. All right. Um... Definitely a pocket on that one. And we will do, we'll do this one as a card. No, we'll do this one as a card, it's smaller. Okay. And then, pocket. Okay. And pocket. There we go. Well, we did end up with four pockets, but we ended up with four pockets, three tags, a journaling card, and a belly down out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You want to do it again? Let's do it again. But we're going to use book pages this time. I seem to, you still end up with a lot with the 12 by 12. I mean, so this is what I have, but um, I seem to be able to have a little bit more of variety in sizes. Where'd go? If I use the book, why is this glued? It's like each page is glued together. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Well, that's enough. I don't have the space for all these pages. What did I do that for? <laughs> okay. So let's set these aside for now. For now. Hello. For now. And then let's grab our vintage style papers. We're going to use these, I think, to join the pages together. So, come out. There's one. And two. And we're just going to keep moving it to the side. Crazy, kind of that way. We'll stay a little bit, possibly. <clears throat> and I'm just kind of staggering it. Just kind of keeping with the Let's mix it up theme, I guess. Hey, where are all my fingers? Well, I don't think we want it upside down. Although, we could do it sideways. We could do it sideways. Okay. 
Oh, come on, Paige. Look at that. We did have the space. Ha ha. Do this one sideways too. Okay. All right. And we got a couple more here. So let's put you right there. To think of what else I have that I can use for background here. Um, hmm. I know I have the tickets. Let's grab a couple of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six for now. We'll see what happens. you off the edge there. Um, we'll put one in here. We'll put one here. Come on. Let's see. Oh, that FedEx truck spurred me. Was loud. I guess we're going to put this one here. Just put a glob of glue there. Um, let's see, we'll put this one in here. this one over here somewhere. All right, let's see. What do I have handy? Oh, you're upside down. Sideways is okay. I don't really want it upside down, though. Okay. Um, hey, where it go? Whoa. There's this thing. I forgot I have these. Could use one of those. Oh, this would be cool on the back because it's got a lot of journal space on it. And it's almost the perfect size. Look at that. That is pretty perfect. All right. We're going to use a couple of these on the back. one. Can get it this way too. Some coffee dye paper or something right there. Because I still have some of that. Just a couple sheets. Need 
table and my paper underneath is bumpy so it's like causing weird patterns in the paper it's funny And you can just use what you have. I happen to have these handy. These are not available in my shop at the moment. I'm sure they will be eventually. And I think we might be able to do one more vertical here. We can overlap. For sure. I don't think my nail needs to get glued. I'm glued my nail. Get out. paper. Where are you? There you are. It, hey. Oh, here's a piece. And here's another piece. Oh, and then, uh-oh, another piece. It's snack time. I'm not hungry, so. I have learned, I need to take that alarm off. Because I started this whole program with setting alarms to remind me to eat late. And I have ended up eating when I'm hungry, not on a schedule. Um, so, and it just kind of teaches you more to listen to your body um, versus, oh, it's lunchtime, it's time to eat. Well, not necessarily. Uh, the Piper talked to me. Mm. Let's do. Let's do that there. I'm gonna try to use up these scraps. This one here. This one not fun. Oh. Okay. And this one here. Oh, let's do something different. I know I just said I was going to use such scraps, but really they're all scraps because they're like torn and such. Okay, we can put this one right here.
Well, the back was easy. Oh, we saw the spot right there. Too big of a tear. Now, a couple things that this does is it makes your paper thicker. So even if you end up using it as a pocket, you want that thicker um, protection. So that's one of the reasons why I don't do like two overly dramatic, you know, pretty backs because they're either going to get covered up because they're a pocket or they're going to get written on, which is kind of why I like doing the coffee dyed paper. Um, wait, get in there. Okay, so now that I have paper and glue, like I have glued paper stuck to my finger. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me! All right, let's see. What do we got here? Um, let's. Do, let me see. Let's do you right there. Oh, let me close this. I have everything sticking to me right now. <laughs> it's funny. All right. And again, these are from either Charming Fragments or Life Sublime. It's one of those two. All right. Ooh, and you know what else we could do? I have these are flowers. Oh, here they are. There they are. I have these embellishments. Let's do the large ones. Those are not flowers. Those are flowers. See how I organize that? <laughs> Makes it pretty easy. All right, um, we'll do that after we're done with this part. Okay, not that one. There's a bingo. We can put the bingo on here. I don't know if it's my imagination, but I swear my lights keep flickering. Which is silly, because it's like, it's clear and it's not like overly sunny, but then again, it's, I don't know, it's 10 o'clock, but, okay, and then we can put you, we'll put you over here. See what have we got over here? Anything long and skinny? Well, that one's long and skinny, but not quite long enough. Anything else long and skinny? Well, we can maybe do this, followed with this. Oh wait. you there. Mm. There we go. Or we could do this one here. This one here. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to cover that up. I 
actually. Oh my god. I just pulled out all that ephemera. We can leave little holes um, that the ephemera can cover up. Open present me. You know, this is really convenient, but <laughs> these are a pill. They are definitely a pill to do. Alright. There's that. So that little tiny spot right there we can cover up with an ephemera. Alright, let's see. What else we got? We got some over here. Like that one. I might need a sharper knife so I can get in between this backing and this sticker stuff. Because this knife is not very sharp. I don't really use it for cutting anymore. I need to replace the blade. Okay. There's that. And then... Put you there. But ever since I found the uh, the Dollar Tree blades, I haven't used this one. Not really. I'm not real sure why I'm using it now. I don't know what made me grab it, but I'm okay with it works for what I need it to. Alright, there's that. And then we've got that little hole there, that little hole there, and then one on this side too. Let's see if we can't cover up this. Trying to figure out what I want to show. There we go. Alright, so let's grab, I think we're going to go with the flowers though because um, there's a lot of flowers mm. in the kit. I like that one, that one's pretty. This one's light. And these are flowers from her mystery kit. Um, okay, it looks like we're going to use these guys here. These are a little dark. Alright, so we'll put you there and you there. And how do I want to do this? I think I'll do this one. This one up here. Right 
say that. And then we can put this one here. And then this little guy here, we need one more flower or something to go right there, so this isn't big enough. But this little guy could go over here. Like that. Now we need one more thing to go right there. Hmm. I'm thinking because these flowers are kind of dark. So I don't really want to use the darker ones. So I'm thinking maybe there might be something in the other ephemera. Let's put the flowers back so they don't get damaged. Alright, what you got? There's a lady. There's a bicycle. There's a crown. It's a very dark butterfly. No, these are not going to work. Not for this project. Alright, let's see. Um, the chair. Yeah, I don't I think I'm just gonna stick with the flowers. So we can put these back. Medium. Oh, that one's nice. We might have to put that somewhere because that's really nice. I like that. Um, oh, this one's nice. Okay, I can I can get on board with that. Just look at that. Isn't that pretty? I guess I should have went with the medium first because these are better for this particular project, I think. That's the same one, but they're smaller. That one's nice. Alright, let's add these guys and we should be good to go. And we can cut it up. Let's do this one first. Where's my brush? We're going to need that in a minute.
of that one. Mm. Yeah, I'll put this one right there. So. We may not need that after all. Put you right there. And then I've got these guys here. Spit glue at me. That's not nice. Where do you want to go? Let's put you right here. Okay. And this one. Oh, there's another one. We can put. Let's do this one here. I don't think we need this other one. I think we're going to leave it. All right. So I'm going to let this dry. And um, we're going to cut this out. Well, I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm going to sew around the edges. And then we'll play with them tomorrow. Put them in the book and, you know. All that jazz. I lost my paper towel over there. So, I think that these turned out pretty cute today. I do enjoy making these a lot. They are a lot of fun. Um, and if you have a lot of scraps, it's a great way to use up scraps. Um, if you have some ephemera that kind of sort of goes with stuff that, you know, you only have like one or two pieces, put them on your collage. Anyway, sorry, I'm sitting here playing with the glue instead of saying my hellos and goodbyes and whatnot. So that's the collage. Um, you'll see it all cut up and hopefully sewn around. I got to let this dry for a little bit because I used some wet glue, not glue stick on these guys. So we're going to give them a little bit before, before I cut them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on this wonderful day of collaging. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.